Hello everyone, welcome to the next lecture on the GATE 2023 solutions of the mathematics paper. Today we will discuss about the question number 28, 29 and 40 related to the numerical analysis. We will solve these questions with the help of the shortcut tricks as we discussed in the previous ones. You can simply follow my YouTube channel Dr. Harish Kirks or the Telegram channel Scan where you can find all those previous shared solutions related to the complex analysis, linear programming problems, partial differential equations and many more are. Also, you can find the GATE 2022 and 2021-2020 and many more in this playlist GATE Mathematics. Apart from this, you can also see the playlist CSRNet, GATE and IIT JAM papers where you can find the previous year's CSRNet solutions with the help of shortcut twin. So now we will see how you can solve this numerical analysis question again with the help of very simple man. So let's start with this first question. So this is the related to the interpolating polynomials. So how you can solve this problem? Remember you have a 1 to 2 minutes in the examination time you can solve these questions here. Normally what the students do that students can write this polynomial as x and q of x like minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1 and 2 and q of x is that is a p of minus 2 you can find the value of p of minus 2 you can write here and then you can write the divided difference first di second divided difference third and so on but definitely it may take about 3, 5 to 10 minutes for solving this problem and then you can take the use of derivative but that will take a very lengthy calculation not within a 1 to 2 minutes so how you can solve this with the help of this 1 to 2 minutes in the help of shortcut tricks so let me tell you if you look about these problems here this is a minus 2 answer is polynomial minus 1 polynomial and same so then you firstly write what is my q of x clearly says that whenever the polynomial is x when the root is minus 2 that is x plus 2 is a factor then the answer will be p of x minus 2 when it is minus 1 it is p of minus 1 when it is because this is not dependent on the p so i can skip that here these are my roots of this so the answer will be here this plus of px now what is my p of 0 so clearly says that if you see what is a q of minus 2 this part will be 0 the answer is p of minus 2 what is a q of minus 1 it is p of minus 1 from here now you can find the value of q 0 what is the p of 0 p of 0 is 2 but here is not equal to 2.5 so i can take this as a multiplier by k so i can find this k such that q of 0 is my 2.5 so what is the answer of this it is k it's a 2 it's a 1 it's minus 1 it's minus 2 and it it's a 3 sorry so it is by 3 then it is my 2.5 so what is that it's a 6k is 2.5 what is the answer of this k sorry plus uh, plus i can skip that plus p of 0 also so what is that it is a plus of 6k what is the p of 0 you can find from here it is 2 it's 2.5 so what is the k is a 0 0.5 over 6 it is a 1 over 12 so therefore what is the fourth derivative of my q so you can see what is the what is this this is the fourth order polynomial so what is the derivative of this fourth derivative is so a four factorial what is the fourth derivative of the px it's a cubic polynomial the fourth derivative is zero so what is the answer what is that 24 answer will be 2 is the right answer of this problem that's a very simple manner you can try to solve this with the help of this polynomial you can construct this polynomial and then you can simplify it. it's very simple man okay look about the next one this is the integration is given to you and you have to solve this with the help of the trapezoidal rule that's very simple so how you can solve that this is the integration that is a 9 x square minus 5 c x raised to power 4 this is equal to the trapezoidal rule that is h over 2 f of a lower limit is 0 plus f of 2 now you can solve this you will get the right answer now what is the integration of this that is a 3x cube is a c x raised to power 5 over 0 to 2 
H, H, what is the H is? H is my B minus A. So B is my 2, this is my B, this is my A. So it's a 2 over 2. What is the F of 0 is 0 minus 0. F of 2 is, this is my F. So 9, 36, it's 80 of C. So what is that? This is 8, 24 minus 20. This is 36 minus 80 of C. So what is that? This is my 48 C is my 12. So what is the C? Is 1 by 4 is the right answer. So 1 by 4 is 0.25 up to the two decimal places is the correct answer of this simplified problem. Okay, look about the next one. So you have to solve this with the help of the LU decomposition and P and Q which of the following is correct. Okay, so what you can do, I can write this matrix 2 minus 1 minus 4 and plus 3 in the form of LU decomposition. So look at that. The What is the P is? The, each element of the main diagonal is 1. So it means this is my 1. It is a lower. So I can write this as a 0. I consider this as a, a. This is B. This is C. And this is D. So can you find the value of A, B, C, D? Clearly says that what is the B? If, if you multiply them, B will be my minus of 2. C will be my minus 1. I can do that. This is, what is that? This is AB. If you look at AB is equal to minus 4. But B is equal to 2. So what is the meaning of that? A is my minus of 2. What is the last portion is? That is AC plus of D is my 3. So A is my minus of 2. B is my minus of 1. So here, so D will be my 1. Now you can get A, B, C, D all. So what is the first option? Then the trace of the u is my 3. So what is the trace of the u? b plus d. So it's a 2, it's a 3. So it means this is my correct option. So p is a false. This, so a or c will be the right answer. Now look at the second option. For the each choice, the Jacobi method converts to the unique solution. When it converts, firstly, you have to check whether the matrix M is a diagonal dominant, whether it's a diagonal dominant. So clearly says that 2 is a greater than of minus 1, that's fine. But 3 is not greater than of the 4. It is not a diagonal dominant. Then once it is not a diagonal dominant, then how you can check that? You can find the iterative matrix. This is called as iterative matrix. And find the largest eigenvalue is absolute value of the largest eigenvalue is less than 1 that is called as the spectral radius. So what is the D inverse? Clearly say that the diagonal entry is 1 by 2, 0, 0, 1 by 3. Now I can find this matrix. That's a very simple. I think you can easily find that within a fraction of second here. What is the L plus U? So L plus U means that is a diagonal entries are 0 here. Now can you find the multiply? The first value is 0, second value is minus half. Third value is minus 4 by 3 and 0. This is my H iterative matrix of the Jacobi method. What is the eigenvalue? You can write that lambda square. What is the trace? It's a 0 and minus of 2 by 3. So what is the eigenvalue? This is a plus minus here. So what is the absolute value of this? It is always be less than of the 1 because this number is less than 1. So if the spectral radius is less than 1, it converges for all the initial points. So it means this is also be the correct answer. So both P and Q are my correct answer is the right option of this problem. So that's a very simple manner. You have to find the diagonal dominant. If it is a diagonal dominant, then again, the Q is the correct option. How diagonal dominant? If it is a 3, it is a minus of 4. Clearly say that absolute value of the 4 is greater than of the 3, then it's a diagonal dominant. If it is not diagonal dominant, Find the largest eigenvalue, spectral radius, that's less than of the 1 is the correct answer. So this is the way you can solve this in a very simple manner. I hope you can like this video. You can share this with your friends. Best of luck students. Happy learning.